kind hearts cannot accommodate the burden of ruling. Dong Chuo burns with the fire of past indignities, an inferno of vengeance that scours his enemies, traitors as he sees them, to his just cause. Vengeance is fire. It starts low and small, but grows to a fury that engulfs the impostors and usurpers. Dong Zhuo's rage has burned away the lies and treason of the eunuchs. The weak and deceitful pretenders will be scattered like ash on the wind. There is no joy in punishment only true justice. From the inferno of his wrath, Dong Zhuo will see China prosper once more, led by one with the strength and the conviction to rule. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory, the chaos only grew. With the corruption at the very heart of the Empire, the loyal generals stormed the Imperial Palace and killed the Ten Eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the Emperor. With the great warrior Lur Bu at his side, none dared oppose him. In response to Dong Zhuo's brazen display, treason some call it, a coalition of warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, raising the old capital Luoyang to the ground as he fled. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift, and China hangs in the balance. Luo Yang burns, my lord, by your command. It was unavoidable. It was the beating heart of treason. Those traitors still rise against you and they have convinced the people of your guilt. There can be no mercy for traitors. Cao Cao is most capable, but his ambition will destroy him. Yuran Cao may lead this coalition, but he lacks the resolve to oppose me. I will utterly crush him. Dao Jian remains an ally, 
But he speaks in vagaries. He is weak-willed. I do not trust him or any of them to honor any oaths to me. I will burn them all as I burn their precious capital. You act in defense of the Emperor, my lord. Let none stand against your fury. <laughs> <laughs>